edition um okay it's not even new year's yet like what's going on okay <laughs> hey y'all welcome back to the channel it's been so long since i've done a sit down video and i'm not gonna lie it feels good so we are back and my bra is showing great <laughs> well let's do a little savage fenty promotion there um but yes i am chilling right now in my robe i'm about to start getting ready T today is new year's eve so we are a couple hours away from the new year 2021 and when you see this video it will be 2021 i'm gonna upload it tomorrow on the first so I decided to do like a New Year's Eve get ready with me edition. So whew, I'm ready to go ahead and get started. I have my wand here getting ready. I'm going to do my hair first, makeup. I'm going to go over the outfit as well as fragrance. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to try to do my hair without a mirror because I didn't bring a mirror over here. So we'll see how that goes. But I fed on my hair last night and the rest of it this morning because I did it in sections so I wouldn't be so tired and be up so late um so I'm gonna do like a middle part straight as it can get and I'm gonna just put some curls in it um and then start my makeup this is gonna be pretty much pretty basic um I wanted I wanted to kind of focus on just the skin um for New Year's Eve so that's just what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my makeup really um I'm gonna do like full coverage, but I want it to be still kind of natural looking. And this is a new background. I hope you guys like it. I have my little Christmas tree back there, uh, and then a photo album, photo frame back there as well. I thought this would be really cute to kind of get like a little diagonal thing going, and as well as like have something in the background. So, yeah, I think I'm doing the mirror because I'm not gonna be able to do this. Well, I have this mirror, but I can't really see. So I hold it up like this. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna work. Let me get my mirror that actually stands up by itself and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got me a mirror now. I hope this isn't too distracting. But I'm about to go ahead and start with my hair. I want it to kind of go in sections, so I'm gonna just split it down the middle. Is my hair part is my part straight? It doesn't look straight. So I'm gonna straighten it first. Okay, I thought this is as straight as it's gonna be. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna uh, part it down the middle. And, what was that? Is that my, it wasn't my phone. I don't know what that was, maybe my watch. So I'm gonna just, I hope the mirror isn't too distracting. What is going off? I'm confused. Um, so I'm just gonna pin this part. I hate when it does that. I'm gonna use the alligator clip. Ouch. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and start curling. I'm gonna do a couple of curls on camera and then I'm gonna play like some music in the background and watch you curl, watch, watch you, watch me curl the rest of my hair because this isn't something super extravagant. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful New Year's Eve and or New Year. Whenever this comes out, it will be New Year's Day. So I hope you guys are having an amazing time so I'm just gonna wrap it around a piece of hair and not do the end I want the end to be straight so I'm just gonna hold it for a second but yeah I'm so ready for 2021 what do y'all have planned for New Year's and how do y'all celebrate New Year's um, also I forgot how was you guys Christmas um, if you celebrated it and as well as Hanukkah and Kwanzaa how's that for y'all I know it was a little bit different. You couldn't really, like, you know, I didn't really get a chance to see any of my family or anything. Um, the holidays definitely are getting a lot different. 
um but i'm trying to be as optimistic as i can about it so how was y'all's holidays leave me a comment down below so i can know what y'all did if y'all got together with family um and or if you social distance and kind of spend time with people in your household or, or by yourself let me know i want to know so yeah <laughs>
so you guys can see what's popping. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel first. <laughs> ahead and start concealing I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows first and I was doing this back maybe like in October September ish and I really like how it looked so I'm going back to it And no, I did not fart. My arm slipped. <laughs> this <laughs> satin is <laughs> slipping on my stuff. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. Come, come closer, y'all. Come closer. Let me zoom y'all in. There we go. So let me go ahead and finish concealing. I'm just going to bring it all the way down. And do the same on the other brow. I feel like this technique makes my brows look way more sharper than like filling them in first for some reason. So, yeah. This also helps get your brows like as even as possible because that like you see what's going on like. <laughs> Bring it on down. And then I'm gonna take a dense brush. I'm gonna use the MAC 270 S brush and just pat in the concealer. <laughs> Now there's no product in my eyebrows, but it makes the concealer, makes it look like it's something going on when it's really not. So you use less eyebrow product and it looks so natural yet sharp. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm going in with my brow pencil. I'm just gonna outline the concealer at the bottom with the pencil. That's how you get it to be really, really sharp. So let me make sure, let me use a smaller mirror so you guys can see what's going on. Ugh, I don't like this one. <laughs> Ew, it's kind of messed up. Okay. that's the bra now you can go over it with some more concealer if you feel like you need to but so the eyebrow is nice and clean I didn't I'm not putting any concealer on top of the eyebrow I like how it looks like this but I did go back and put some more clear brow gel throughout the brow just to make it look way more natural and to keep the brow hairs in place and I'm about to go ahead and do the left brow 
up here real quick and enjoy the music. <laughs> So now that the brows are done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with skin. Primers I'm going to use, I'm going to use a little cocktail primer. I'm going to use my Milk Hydro Grip, Hydro Grip Primer and then the Tatcha uh, Soul Canvas Primer. So I'm going to mix those together. And I really like the way these two um, just feel on the skin and um, I feel like the Milk really helps. The foundation and concealer and everything like that just sticks better to the skin while the um, silk canvas just gives me a nice silk canvas a very smooth um canvas before my makeup so i don't use very much of it because i always go in with like a little bit of a my loose powder right after because i do get very oily and these primers aren't necessarily mattifying so uh I always just kind of go in with a little bit of powder, but I do love how this looks right over my pores. Um, so yeah. And they just work together so well. They don't like beat up, if y'all know what I mean. Like when the like two products don't work together and it just kind of creates them, them white balls. Mm -mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I'm going to take a little bit of uh, Dermablend translucent powder and just pack it on places where I get oily. So I'm putting it right over here on my pores, kind of where I just put the Tatcha um, primer. And then like other, like on my T-zone, my forehead, um, chin, above the lip, nose for sure. <laughs> So, y'all already know where this little hack came from. The goat, Jackie Ina. This was my oily girls. I've been doing this for a while. I did this especially in the summertime, but like, it really just makes my skin look really, really nice. And I wanna look beautiful for New Year's Eve. I look crazy right now. <laughs> Don't mind me, I look real ashy. But it's okay, because it's going to get cute. Okay, so for foundation, I am going to be mixing two foundations. I've been doing a whole bunch of cocktails um, for this video. But I'm going in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation here. And I'm in the shade 14. And this is more like a medium to sheer coverage foundation. And I'm going to put uh, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation on as well. Um, just to give me more coverage in some areas. Vanity, Vanity from Vanity Throne brush, and it's the Let's Face It brush, and just pat in that foundation, and it, oh my God, it gives me such a natural, flawless finish. Um, when you pat, don't swipe. And the Georgia Armani foundation smells so good, y'all. No joke, or no cap. What the young people say? I'm not putting it, I'm not focusing the foundation under my eyes too much because I'm going to use a concealer. So I'm just kind of focusing it on the outer portion of my face as well as um, under my jawbone and that little down my neck. I just finished doing like a little bit of um, hair like strokes in the front of my brow. Now I'm about to go in with my concealer under my eyes. Um, and I'm gonna let this sit here for a minute while before I blend it out so I can get the most coverage possible. Blend down my nose on the forehead. 
highlight my skin a tad bit. This is probably the most easiest, most like everyday uh, makeup look you could ever possibly do. And I wanted to do a really nice for New Year, New Year, New Year's Eve. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get a sponge because I forgot to wet one. My life. I have my little Juno and Co SpongeBob sponge. I'm about to just blend it out my forehead first. I'm about to go ahead and blend under my eyes and everything else is blended. <laughs> I have feel like I zoomed in too much now. I can't even see my whole face. I look crazy. Let me sit back like this. Oh yeah. Boom. Boom. Y'all can see everything now. Are y'all going out tonight? Like New Year's Eve or did y'all go out tonight or New Year's Day? Like. What y'all doing? Like, y'all going out to clubs, partying, or, like, what? I'm going out to dinner tonight with my friends. That's about it. Um, and then chill with my boyfriend, bringing the new year. But, like, I'm not going out, out. Like, I'm not going to no club, y'all tripping. I'm just, I'm just using my foundation brush to blend out the uh, edges. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'm taking this brush here and with my foundation nose on it and just trying to snatch my nose. Now I'm going in with my Derma Blend setting powder. Set everywhere that I um, highlight it. So I'm going to make sure that there's absolutely no creases under my eyes. And then we're going to set up that powder. And this Derma powder is fire, y'all. Like, even on my skin tone, and I'm, you know, pretty dark. Um, it's still, it don't leave no flashback, y'all. I'm not, I don't be ashy under the eye. Like, it's just bomb. Super fine. Not too thick with powder. Definitely try it out. Another one I would recommend if you are darker like me, a setting powder is the Laura Mercier, uh, the medium deep one. Because that one, I use it on my clients who are uh, deeper. I don't know what I was saying before this when my camera cut off. So, um, yeah. Just stating that face with my dermal blend. Everywhere that I highlight it. So now I'm gonna take my um, MAC Studio Fix powder foundation in NW55. Yeah, and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. And then take the rest of the Derma Blend powder that I have left over and then Go right up the top. And I got like, girl, what in the world are you doing? Trust me, this works. It keeps me so mad. And it just makes my skin look extremely smooth. This is a really full powder brush. So like, it's not that much powder on the uh, brush. It doesn't pick up as much. So, yeah. Uh -oh. Now for bronzer, I'm going to use the Fancy Beauty uh, Sun Stalker Mocha Mommy um, Powder Bronzer. I'm just going in there. Just adding a little bit of color back to the skin. eyes 
starts watering per usual oh, and then for blush i'm gonna go in with the um mac raisin blush I really like how this looks on my skin tone so i'm gonna use that one i'm gonna use it with the same raw techniques brush that i applied the um powder with at the beginning of our tutorial and i'm just gonna go right on the apples and just kind of pounce it in real nice like I like a lot of blush y'all I do I do I do <laughs> This might look like a lot on camera. Does it look a lot? No, this on this side of here looks crazy. But I thought the camera just is accentuating it because in person I barely can see it. That's why I'm adding a lot. <laughs> but I'm gonna go over and blend it. So yeah. I'm gonna take my big powder brush with a little bit of that powder and go right over. Pretty. Now for highlighter. I'm going to use my NARS um, highlighting powder in St. Bart's. No, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, <laughs> no way. And it's, this is just gives me like a really subtle highlight, I feel. All my other highlighters are pretty much like blinding and I didn't really want that for this look. So, yeah. A little bit down the bridge of my nose. Forehead. I'm gonna take like a little fluffy blending brush and this is a Morphe M441 brush. Go into some of my bronzer and mix it in with my face powder. And this is going around the eyes. And this is gonna just tie the look together so that my eyelids face doesn't look so like blanked out. That makes sense like too white. Too overbearing or like too much, but it looks very symmetrical. So we're gonna apply some mascara. I'm using the Mac Giga Black or Extended Play Giga Black Lash mascara. I'm just prepping my top lashes for my false lashes with some mascara. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some dramatic lashes tonight. Now I do that in quotation marks because some dramatic lashes, um, what's going on? Ouch, ouch, ouch. So I'm going to apply a little bit of, um, black liner to my waterline real quick. And I think I'm going to do it like where I only apply the, on the black, on the waterline. What am I talking about? <laughs> I think I'm going to apply the eyeliner and my waterline just on the um outer portion like not all the way in i don't know let me see how it looks yeah i think i'm gonna do it like that but like it looks nice and different so apply bottle mascara real quick see what the lashes do the lashes pull it together honey i'm telling you i love me some lashes Now that the face and eyes are done, I'm going to go ahead and start, and, uh, and start with my lips. I cannot talk today, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to use my MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. Line my lips first. For the 
perfect nude. All right, y'all. So the makeup is looking bomb. I'm about to go wash my hands though, because uh, I am wearing white tonight. I don't want to get no makeup on my uh, outfit because I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> but let me go ahead and do that. And I'll come back and straight out the makeup or the outfit and the makeup and the hair all together. And then we can go. My camera stopped recording, of course. So what I was saying was we're going to go ahead and put on the outfit, come back, show y'all the finished look, and then we can go on the fragrance. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I have on my outfit. This is the outfit that I'm wearing for New Year's Eve. Um, the straps are a little big on this corset, but other than that, the outfit came together really nice. I love, this is like a, um, a work shirt dress, I wanna say, but I feel like it's making it kind of feminine, like with the uh, pearl and diamond buttons on there. And then I decided to accentuate the outfit with some gold jewelry. I got this from Amazon. I'll have a link down below. You can get any year you want. I got my birth year. And then I had this gold um, plated Kate Spade cuff. So, yeah, I will get like a better, like a full um, outfit, like a pan down. But this is just the outfit i ended up getting the um corset here from akira and then the dress is from a uh, pretty little thing and i'll just bring it down for y'all so i can see a little bit but this is how it looks let me turn around so yeah and i'll get one of my friends to take, take a full body video for y'all but yeah so this is the completed look the hair is looking really nice and shiny the way i was hoping for the curls or waves are really nice and subtle and the makeup <laughs> the makeup is real nice and uh Victoria John. you ready to leave Victoria? yeah I'm gonna get ready to go I was just vlogging <laughs> So yeah, sorry for the little interruption, um, but I'm about to get ready to head out. But first, I'm gonna go over the fragrance I'm gonna wear. I'm really loving the fit and everything, how everything came together. So the fragrance I'm gonna wear tonight is Coco Mademoiselle, of course, by Chanel, because I wanted to keep it kind of classy. Um, this is like an OG perfume, but it just smells so sexy and just grown and sexy. Oh, it just smells so good, y'all. And it goes so well with my body chemistry. So, I'm about to drown myself in it real quick. <laughs> Not too much because it's expensive, but. And then as far as like accessories and all that, I've already went, about, went uh, um, I've already went over my necklace and bracelet. Um, but I'm gonna be wearing this purse here. So I thought it would look really nice with the gold um, chain. And it's just a clear bag. So I'll just wear this like, I can either hold it like this or wear it like on my shoulder so yeah i'm about to get ready to go y'all and i'm loving the look i am i'm really loving it. i'm loving the natural i'm not really natural neutral makeup <laughs> and i'm loving the outfit i can't wait for you guys to see a full body um pan down of everything i'm wearing some boots so because it's cold outside y'all today it was like 80 degrees i want to say and right now it is it says 46 degrees outside, but it says it feels like 39. So I'm happy I'm wearing boots. They're, they're uh, knee high boots. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I wanted to show y'all my my little secret weapon. This is the Honest Size of Beverly Hills Shimmer Body Oil here. And I have this like on my chest because um, it just makes me look so like sparkly and glowing. I love it. I'm going to mix a little bit of this in with my body lotion and put it on my legs. Y'all, I'm putting y'all on. I'll link it down below too. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, so I'm about to get ready to go. I'm about to head out. And I will see you guys in the new year, 2021. Hopefully this year is going to be just filled with all kinds of blessings for everyone. And just opportunities and all kind of good stuff. Just, you know, <laughs> just a good, good year from January to December of next year. I'm claiming it. I'm feeling it. I know that everything's going to be really nice and positive, And I just cannot wait for the new year. Uh, I know that everything's not gonna be just, you know, snapping fingers and everything be over from coronavirus and all that stuff, but 
um you know i'm trying to be as positive as i can and be optimistic and i just can't wait for the new year i'm so excited so yeah i will see you guys in a bit <laughs> Say hey, small. Hey, guys. <laughs> Say hey, Amber. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> hey, Tiana. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Fix my hair. So, y'all, we're at the Ocean Air. And we're getting some drink at the Ocean Air. And we're waiting on the food because I'm hungry. I got some oysters and surf and turf. So I'm just waiting for that. I'm very hungry. I wasn't like another drink, but I need to eat something. So, I'm on page. Yeah, I'll come back and show y'all when the food is ready. Just come. Tell us.